in the last class we have found there are three types of remote sensing terrestrial photography aerial remote sensing and satellite remote sensing already we have discussed the details of the first two then let's turn to the most modern mode of remote sensing by utilizing satellites they are generally known as satellite remote sensing the process of collecting information using sensors fixed on artificial satellites is called satellite remote sensing for remote sensing by using satellites we generally use two types of artificial satellites they are geostationary satellites and sun synchronous satellites watch a video which describes the features of geostationary yeah yeah this is what our planet looks like from a geostationary satellite why is the earth spinning is it broken This particular satellite is parked 36,000 kilometers above the Indian Ocean. Satellites orbiting at this altitude have an orbital period of 24 hours, so they revolve around the Earth at the same rate as the Earth's rotation. This is why the Earth, even though it's spinning, looks stationary from this satellite. Being geostationary has several advantages. Imagine we are the satellite, and we are sending out TV signals. Satellite TV subscribers down there will point their satellite dishes right at us. Once they've found us in the sky, they don't have to adjust their satellite dishes anymore because we are not going anywhere. Now you are watching the characteristics of geostationary satellites which is given in your textbook. Read it carefully and find the features of these geostationary satellites. This is another video which gives the details of sun synchronous satellites and find how it is different from geostationary. These are the features of sun synchronous satellites and these features are given in your textbook. For finding the details of Satellite remote sensing, we should know the three important terms used generally in satellite remote sensing. They are spectral signature, satellite imageries and spatial resolution. Let's find one or the first term that is the spectral signature we have already learned that the sensors record electromagnetic radiation either reflected or remitted emitted by the objects and this is the method of data collection by using sensors the energy reflection of plant is different from that of water bodies so the spatial Sorry, the spectral signature of different objects are different. The amount of reflected energy by each object is called spectral signature of that object. And this is the second term, the satellite imagery. Look at the screen and find its details. The third term used generally in related with the satellite remote sensing is spatial resolution. The spatial resolution is the size of the smallest object on the Earth's surface that a satellite sensor can distinguish is called the spatial resolution of the sensor. 
when we say an object with the more spatial resolution which means it can find the smaller relatively smaller object on the earth and there is two images with the different types of spatial resolution look at the picture a and b in the b the clarity is very more when related with the a because the spatial resolution of the object is 1 meter and the a has 1 kilometer which means thus when the spatial resolution increases the clarity of the area also increases in modern times different kinds of sensors with the high spatial resolution is used in satellites let's watch a table which describes the different kinds of sensors with the high spatial resolution thus we have completed three types of remote sensing aerial terrestrial and satellite let's discuss the use of remote sensing watch the screen and there gives the details of the use of remote sensing and you please go through the extract given in your textbook now you are watching that extract and please go through it for getting the details of indian remote sensing agency and its scope now you we are ready to discuss another important factor related with the modern means of geographical studies they are geographic information system or gis it is a computer based technology or a software for preparing maps tables and graphs to find scientific answers to our queries or questions by the analysis of the information obtained through remote sensing and other means A geographic information system, or GIS, is a computer system that captures and stores data related to positions on the Earth's surface. It's used to create maps that reveal spatial relationships invaluable for planning and communications in areas such as agriculture, healthcare, retail trade, or military intelligence. GIS technicians and geospatial information scientists and technologists produce data layers, maps, graphs, and reports using GIS technology. They compile data from remote sensing devices and cartographic or global positioning system maps and enter it into GIS databases. Data accuracy, currency, and quality are critical, so they must review data carefully. With clean data, GIS professionals program computers, analyze the data, and develop software for GIS applications. All data analysis with GIS are done based on two kinds of data. These are the fundamental data for getting the GIS software more perfect and more advanced. One, the spatial data. This uh, uh, factor, this factor gives the latitudinal and longitudinal location of every feature on the Earth's surface. Such features of the Earth's surface having a specific location is known as spatial data. Then second kind of data that can be utilized in GIS is attributes. First point that is the spatial data which gives the location of an object and attribute which gives the additional information given to the factor or the additional characteristics given to the spatial feature. The next point related with the GIS is layers. 
there is another benefit related with the geographical information system that is in generally we have learned the fact that the topographical maps gives the natural and man made features like streams roads vegetation buildings etc and uh, it is very interesting to get to the fact that separate features with the separate maps this is possible through gis the thematic maps prepared and stored in geographical information system for analytical pur purpose are called layers each layer gives the specific feature of the map look at the picture given there that gives the features of the layers of the topographical map top the first one that gives the topo sheet and from that sheet layer 1 2 3 is prepared and this is known as layers by using gis